This is how to personalise your search experience in, with My RDA. My RDA allows you to save your favourite searches and records to revisit them again later. And you can access My RDA from any time for the top bar of every page. So let's say that you've got some search results. So you can select any or all of them. So let's just select two of them. So when you've selected the records you want, you can either save the records up here or you could save the actual search from over here on the left. So if you go to any of the actual records, you can save the record here by clicking on Save to My RDA. So now we'll go ahead and save some records. Firstly, you'll need to log into My RDA here. Yeah. You'll have a number of options for logging into My RDA. You can use a social media login like Facebook or LinkedIn. Or if you belong to an institution which is a member of the Australian Access Federation, the AAF, you can log in using the AAF Rapid Connect. Okay. So now when you've got into My RDA, after logging in, you're presented with your My RDA page where you can view or rerun any of the saved searches or records. So firstly, let's save a new search into My RDA. So let's hit search here for climate change. In the search result page, we limit the search to the subject, perhaps environmental science, so we have environmental sciences, and the license type of an open license. So now we can go up here to the current search box, and in the current search box, I can click Save Search and name the folder I wish to save this search into. So let's call this Climate Change. And then click Save Search. So your save has been successful. You close the pop up. Okay. Returning to your search, let's select some records and to save this as well. So let's click on a couple of those books. Oops. Click on a couple here. So we've selected, selected three records to save here. And then up the top here, we can click on Save Records. Type in the name of the folder to Save the records on here. Let's go and we've really got climate change in New South Wales, and they're successfully saved there. So now that we've bookmarked some of these records and saved the search, how do we view these items? You can click here on the Open Mighty Eye link at the bottom of this window, or you can go to the top of Research Night Australia and click on the My RDA up the top here. Okay, there's a number of actions you can carry out with your saved records and your saved searches here in RDA. If you save searches, which appear here at the top, you can refresh your saved search to see how many records have been added to the database that fit your search criteria since the last refresh or since you first saved the search, or you can delete the search. You can rerun a search by clicking on the title of the saved search. So we click on that one change to here and then save the record. So if we then go back to my RDA, and down here in the saved records, you can move, export, or delete records either individually or in bulk. So perhaps if we come down here to this first one, well, this one here, and the action is we want to move it. Okay, and we move it from urban water to the climate change one, and it's successfully saved. In a similar fashion, you can also export selected records to EndNote or EndNote Web. Come down here and we select a, oh, an action here, export, and export to EndNote or EndNote Web. Back here in my RDA, as with any of the search results in Research Data Australia, clicking on the record title will take you to the record in Research Data Australia. Once you've finished, with these actions in my RDA, you can either continue searching and saving or you can log out. For further support, including a video tutorial on searching research data Australia, click on the help page down here.